Hello beautiful friends, it's Erica. Today's pick a deck reading is going to be focused on who's coming in next. Who is coming in next for a love relationship? And this is obviously going to be timeless. And we are going to take a look at under, just seeing what the scenario is and how this person may come into your experience or what the relationship may be like. And this certainly could be somebody that you've not met yet. Uh, maybe it's somebody that you've met, but you haven't dated them. Or maybe this is somebody that you have dated or are with right now. And this is really about the next phase of your relationship and what you will be facing next. So obviously, um, this is general and won't resonate for everybody. But I will be doing an extended and be going more in depth into the scenario, this person, what's going on for them now, what they're working on, what you're working on to come together, what they're going to admire about you, a lot more in depth um, in the extended. But I'd like you right now to tune in and just close your eyes for a moment and just really tune into your heart. You might even want to place your hand on your heart. Really just connect. And then when you're ready, I just want you to open your eyes and see the deck that you are most drawn to. I'll give you a few moments. Now, excellent. You may find yourself drawn to more than one and that's okay. Um, just go with one to begin with and watch the next one um, afterwards. So um, I will be time stamping the decks down below. This is deck one with the angel rose quartz, deck two with the citrine, and deck three with the rose quartz. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with this first deck. I'm just gonna pull some oracle cards to get a sense of some of the messages around this next relationship, next significant relationship in your life. This isn't just, you know, someone you might, wow. <laughs> There's a lot of cards, lots of energy here. That's for sure, okay, something really wants to come out here. But let's get a message on the themes between you and this person. The energies. Wow. So we're getting the consciousness of present power. Okay, that is, and again, a lot of cards. <laughs> and then we have the energy of letting go. And lastly, we have the intention of taking steps. So it's interesting because I this is one person, this is the other person, and this is the dynamic between them. So clearly there is an energy of, you know, someone here in the relationship, maybe still in the process of letting go of um, things that are holding them back. These could be situations, these could be other relationships, and one of you is ready. One of you is fully ready, but... There is a mutual, mutual, um, mutual desire to come together, but it does look like here this person may be, uh, or one of the, one of you is is letting go of something, or maybe is afraid of letting go of something from the past, and you really want to move forward. Now, this could certainly be somebody that maybe you already know, that maybe there is some history between the two of you. Um, but there is a mutual des des desire to take things forward. So let's get some tarot here and see what else we can find out. Ten of spring, eight of spring, three of spring. See, there's all that energy, that passion. <laughs> 
this is where, um, yeah, it starts off here pretty hot. Prince of Autumn, Four of Summer, Queen of Winter, Ten of Summer, Princess of Spring, and the Princess of Winter. All right. Again, this is one person's energy, another's, and then the dynamic between them. <clears throat> so, I feel like there's an intensity between the two of you when you first meet. Like, all of a sudden, something comes in really quickly. It's like, almost like I'm just hearing eyes lock, you meet, and it's just this intensity. And there is a desire to move forward right away, but there is something where this person over here, I think, has some things going on. Maybe having multiple um, priorities. This is where there's a lot of things happening at once. And it's pretty overwhelming when you first meet. <clears throat> it's pretty overwhelming. But there is like this, it's like a lightning bolt coming in. Because here in between, when you first meet, there, you're needing to have some sort of a patience. Because there's good things coming between the two of you, but there's things that need to be um, taken care of first. And what I feel like is happening is um, I feel like there's going to be a cooling off right when you first meet because of whatever circumstances one person is in here. Um, because it's like this person here has really got, they're ready. They're ready. They're ready to be sincerely moving this relationship forward. Um, but this person cannot quite yet. They're not happy emotionally where they are. And they're kind of in this energy of, um, there's like this energy of, uh, I'm just getting drawn to all these cards. I haven't used these in a while and I'm just like, I'm getting sucked into them. <laughs> it's like, Wow. I'm going to get some more cards here, but there's this, um, gosh, this is so fascinating. I'm just getting so pulled into so many messages. All right. I'm going to start getting some cards to clarify just to, to focus this a bit because it, there's a lot of energy here, as you could see from all the cards flying out. Um, let me get a card on this ten of ten of spring. The six of spring. Good news, success. See, yeah, this is where um, this is like a burst of fresh air for this person. And why does this person have the eight of wands here? The ace of winter. Okay, so this is the ace of ace of swords is is when there's a beginning and it's a victorious new beginning, but it can be a little rocky at the beginning. And this is where there could be some challenges, but you're very focused and determined. Let's get a card on the three of spring renewal. Yeah. One of you is ready. One of you thinks like, oh my gosh, I've met this amazing person. But the other one has things to let go of and things to be like, oh my gosh, this is what I've wanted. My life isn't what this, what I want right now. And this, but, but there's something in the way. And this person here understands and is ready, you know, is very balanced, you know, and with this present power, they're getting the justice card. And, um, it's almost like this person could also just have a lot going on and they may not necessarily even be in another relationship, but they might be pretty distracted. And the eight of winter, see, this person might lack a little bit of confidence. 
They might feel powerless in some way, but they're not happy when, after they meet you, which is fabulous for them. There is this bit of, um, I want to say like a pause. Yeah, a pause. There's a four swords. So there is this kind of period of time where you may pull apart a little bit. You may pull apart or lead to just kind of step back just for a moment, but you're, you've definitely ignited something here at the beginning because moving here into the 10 of summer, the princess of spring and the princess of winter, this is emotional fulfillment here. This person's really happy, but this person is, it's almost like this person is going to decide to go for it, put some energy into something uh, between the two of you. Ten of summer gets released, letting go of the past. The death card. Interesting, letting go. We get another card here, Princess of Spring, King of Autumn. And why is the Princess of Winter here? The lovers, okay. The decision is made to come together. It's interesting because I do feel like this person does come around and You know, what, it's like they come around when they're ready, and then when they're ready, they're really ready. Here with this lover's card. And the ten of winter. Yeah, so again, there's completion, release, there's a rebirth here. So this is someone that there's an initial hot attraction with. There's a connection that's undeniable. And then this person's going to kind of slow, one of, one of you is going to like pull back a little. But then there it does look like there's just this success here, this 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 um, ending of this original, this kind of middle period. So um, yeah. So I feel like this is gonna take it like you're gonna feel completely connected right away. But then there will be a little bit of in the middle here. But it does look like outcome here, Ace of Spring. Yep. <laughs> and I don't do outcomes typically, but I felt like with this one, because it, 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 there's a period where I was like, well, I don't, we'll see how this goes out. But this is really intended for in the Seven of Spring, being courageous and choosing a meaningful life. You know, wanting to be happy. All right, so there's your reading. This is something that you stood for even though somebody walked away maybe initially, and then there's a renewal here. There's a, there's a rebirth, and um, a decision will be made, and there will be success here. This person's going to finally decide to open up to you and take action, and there will be forward movement. So... Um, there's your reading, guys. So in the extended, I'm going to get into a lot more in-depth. We're going to look at what's going on for them in their life right now. We're going to look at what they're working on, what they're hoping for, what they're afraid of specific to this relationship, um, what strengths, what they're going to, what they admire about you and what they're going to be drawn to in you. Um, so the link for that is down below in the description box. So um, with that, guys, until next time, I send you much love. Bye. Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to deck number two with the Citrine Point. So we're going to take a look at your next significant relationship, what that looks like, what's going on, what are the energies. So we're going to start out by taking a look at... energies with this person when you meet 
Oh, we're getting the kindred partnership. Wow. Okay. Followed by the healing light. And then the dynamic between you when you meet. Let's get an energy there. And courage. Wow. Okay. There is a strong soul connection here between the two of you where um, there is the gift of incredible healing with this kindred partnership. There is this immediate just, it's all levels, right? It's not just, it's, it's fun, it's lighthearted, it's passionate, it's loving, it's joyous. But there is this energy of courage between you because there could be, certainly, again, your next relationship could be with somebody that maybe there needs to, maybe it's someone from your past where there could need to be some healing. And it may take courage when you first meet or first reconnect because of something from the past. But let's actually get some cards here and get some more details. see what is going on when you first come together when you meet and this may be someone you've already met FYI but when you start the relationship so you get nine of earth six of air and the ace of water wow followed by the ace of air the page of earth and the star followed by the eight look at those aces ace of earth two of air and the night of fire. All right. So I'm feeling like, um, This person here, they're successful. They're ready. They're totally ready for this relationship. And they see this incredible new beginning with you. It's like when they, when you guys meet, there's something here that it's like the heart just opens, um, or opens up more. This person may have simply just like been coming through a lot of healing in themselves. And they're ready to do things differently. They're ready to show up differently. But when we have between the two of you, the Ace of Water, the Star and the Knight of Fire, it's like there's this flood of opening the heart, these feelings that come in and then you're making plans. There's like, you're looking towards the future. You guys are on the right path with this star and then things just take off. We're going to get more cards here and see. Some more details. A card on the nine of earth balance yeah it's almost like um this person here has been ready and waiting to kind of waiting for the right time you know waiting for the right time for this partnership to come in why does this person have the six of air the eight of water. They certainly, um, cause these are both cards about moving on. They're moving on. They've been growing. They've been looking for something more meaningful. Let me get a card on this ace of cups, the world. Wow. So this person here, um, 
may have been recently moved, walked away from something or have, has done a lot of deep healing to know that they're ready for their full happiness. Because there is the world here. There's a big cycle that's completed that's bringing in this Ace of Water. So again, you could have been around the block with this person in the past and separated and then um, and then there's been a lot of healing and now there's a reconnection because this has gone around the world and now we're back at the new beginning to really be able to open your heart to each other this could be why the courage energy is here right let me get a card on this ace of air seven of earth all right so this person, um, there can be, there's a new big, big time new beginning here, but then there is, I'm curious about this two of air. It's like waiting for the right time because the ace of swords can also be an energy where there's a new beginning, but there, there can be a little rocky at the beginning. And then this is about having patience, waiting, waiting, waiting. Because this is, this is absolutely destined with this star. And why is this person of the page of earth, the emperor? <laughs> well, honestly, this feels like this is the divine feminine energy and this is divine masculine energy, if that's resonating for you. And it doesn't have to by any means. But this person, um, you know is learning how to take the lead. This is a person who may have been a little cold in the past and is now opening up. And let me see why the star is here between the two of you. The five of water. This is where you start to see that the challenges of um, the past for both of you, not necessarily between the two of you, because this would be somebody completely brand new. But this is where um, you finally are like, you know what? Now I know why things didn't work out with others in the past because I'm meant to be with this person. This is why I am now hopeful that everything I've been through is going to be worth it. Let me get a card on this Ace of Earth and the Strength card. Why does this person have the Two of Air? The king of fire. Ooh, okay. Wow. And the knight of fire. And the chariot coming in with the knight of fire. Wow. Okay. This is where um, this person may have run away from you before. Or is at least run away from this type of thing in the past. But with you, they're 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 getting this strength to do things differently. Right? They're like, no, I I want to have my ton of cups. I want this, and I haven't had it before. And this is also where this person may have healed settling for less than they deserve. And this is where you are. Um, let me see why the strength card is here. The Knight of Water. Oh. So if this is someone who has had walked away from you before, this is like sacred union energy this kindred partnership card this is like we've been through the ringer and we just appreciate each other and love each other so much because we've grown and we know what matters so if this is someone who's walked away from you before there's victory here there's passion here and this person has learned from their mistakes And you are ready to open up your heart to them. 
if this is not someone that's from your past, this is where, this is why courage is here. This is why you have strength to open your heart to this person. I'm saying this is you, but obviously this could be you and that could be the person. It really, you know, it depends. But I do feel like there is, um, there's some new, new life that comes in once. This is definitely a, this is the courage to put yourself into a relationship once you've done with all all your healing and then i get a card in the chariot and the ten of earth wow success happy family life finding the magic in the little things this is so strong so what i'm going to do in the extended guys is we're going to look more in depth we're going to look at what that's going on with this person what are they working through what lessons they're learning in this relationship with you what lessons you're re learning with them we're going to look at what they admire about you, what you admire about them. We're going to look at what they're working on in themselves, what strengths they have, what they're thinking and feeling when you first meet. So if you want to go more in depth in that, um, the link is down below in the description box. So until next time, guys, I send you much love. Bye. Hello, beautiful friends. Yes, you chose the third deck with the rose quartz pillar here. So we're going to start off by taking a look at the dynamic and the energies with you and your next significant relationship. We're going to take a look at the energies surrounding this next significant relationship. Again, this could be something you already maybe are, have started. Um, maybe this is something from that you're already aware of, but something in the future, substantial relationship. So let's get started. Let's see the dynamic here. We have the intention of hidden motivations followed by, that was too many, followed by the consciousness of optimism. And here in the middle, between you guys, is the event of travel. Interesting. Let me get a card here on this hidden motivations. They're in the consciousness of victim mentality. Okay, and let me get a card on this travel energy. Increase. Cycle of increase. Let me get a card on this optimism. Kindred partnership. Okay, what I'm feeling here is um, one, of the, one of you guys, when you start this off, could be in a place where they're... Um, They're hiding, they're, they're portraying something that there might be more to the story than you are seeing. Uh, maybe this is something that they've been healing towards and working towards um, in their life where they feel like, you know, things just happen. So I'm getting the sense of they could be just, there's just more to the story that maybe has to do with their past because there is this um, kind of like a coming together and you certainly, first of all, could meet this person when you're traveling. That is for sure. But let me get a card on this victim mentality also because one of you is very much into this like, oh my gosh, this is my person. This is you know, who I'm supposed to be with. There's a strong camaraderie here. I'm, you're super, one of, someone's super excited. And the other one here, I feel like just could be struggling, maybe hasn't done as much healing work. Or there's more to the story. Let me get a card on the victim mentality. The dark thoughts. So funny, that is one of the cards that jumped, fell out. I 
I feel like they are, they might be just putting on, there's more to the, more to the story or more that they're, or they're not showing you or revealing everything. They might be dealing a lot with their own inner, inner demons. Um, and I don't mean that in a, in a negative way. It's just more they they, they really want to put a good foot forward to you, but I think inside they may be struggling a little. And whereas you're in this place or someone, whoever, someone here is in a place of feeling really good. So let's actually get some tarot and see what's happening. What is going on? So they've got the eight of cups. You've got the solo, someone here. I don't know why I keep saying this is you. That person's got the solar plexus and here in between you guys, oh, is the lovers. So interesting. So what you might not be seeing is they still might need to be, um, moving like fully moving away from a past situation. And this is just what, or there might be still just some lingering things. Um, Oh, we got the Ace of Pentacles. This person's got the Five of Cups. And in between is the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Let me just see where, it would, would, where it's going. The Three of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. And the heel card. Okay. It's a star. There's clearly a strong connection here uh, when you're getting the kindred partnership. But what I feel like there is here is um, I do feel like there's a person who may have another situation that they are dealing with that maybe there is an, you know, Maybe they're dealing with a past relationship or a past situation that's that's not easy. It doesn't have to be another relationship. It could be just dealing with some struggles in their life. Um, I just keep getting drawn to that you really could be meeting somewhere else. Because this looks like a vacation. This is like you're waking up and it's like, oh, good. And I just feel like there's someone who... Maybe they just moved. They might have just moved. But when you first come together, there's this soul recognition. But I do feel like this, like one person here, um, may still be needing to move on from something from the past. And those are consciousness of victim mentality and dark thoughts. So they may have just recently gotten their heart broken and they're not really telling you and they might still be processing some of that. Whereas you're like, Ooh, this is awesome. And almost like you meet, but maybe they're not quite ready, but it does look like that shift. So let's get a card on this. Um, eight of cups opening up four of pentacles. So they're trying to kind of open themselves up to something new, but they may still be holding on a little bit to the past. And I don't feel this as a shady energy. That's why I kept pulling even more cards because it's like, it's not shady to me. This is just, they're just maybe, you know, they might be just showing you some of themselves. Let me get a card on why you have, and you, but you're feeling really confident. Not you. Why do I keep saying this is you? Okay. Trust me guys, if it's not you, it's, it's fine. But I keep getting drawn to this might be the other person. Uh, but take it as it fits, obviously. But it does feel like at the beginning, there's this soul recognition. But then the fact that you might be sensing or so <laughs> I'll keep resisting saying it that way. I swear I'm going to stop doing readings where it's two people because it just can flip and 
and uh, anyway, or designating one as you or one as the other. As you guys know, it's a general reading. Um, let it let it just fit how it does, and don't make it fit if it doesn't. Obviously, let me get a card on this lovers. The base chakra. It does look like when you first meet, it's pretty connected. Uh, but it could all, and there could be a real strong energy that makes, you, there, there's both of, there's kind of a, an, an energy of both people facing some of their shadows at the same time when they meet each other where you know you're feeling confident feeling optimistic and then suddenly here come the shadow energies this person might still be needing to move on a little bit um this person's feeling confident but maybe facing some anxiety a little anxious because this person maybe isn't quite opening up and it's triggering them a little bit and it's bringing in their, a little bit of their survival instinct. Crown chakra, changing your focus and the chariot. And why is the seek the truth card here? Spread your wings and the third eye. There's something here where I love that the seek your truth card is coming in because that's going to reveal this hidden motivation and look at it's not an accident. Here's this curtain and here's she's parting the curtain too to see what's really behind it. Because intuitively there's a choice. There's a lot of intuitive energy here. And this person because this other person isn't opening up at first, there might be a choice point trying to figure it out. What's going, what's really going on here? But then I do feel like it moves into a really beautiful energy here with this star card. These people feel the connection, but they get triggered at the start of it and they're start they really want um to start this but they want to do so from an honest place let me get a card on this take the lead refusing to see the two of swords let's see this dedicated effort card finding balance wow they're both getting twos And then they get a card on the heel. Th this person wants to put the effort in. And this person is going to start looking towards an optimistic future and finally open up. See the parts of themselves that they weren't will willing to see. This person wants to work on it. And the heel card gets the healing. Begins card. Wow, the six of swords. So two cards of healing. Yeah, there's triggers at the beginning, but remember that happens with very strong kindred partnerships. When we're getting the kindred partnership, we get the lovers. Um, it looks like there's this beautiful place that it that it um, moves to. So be aware if there's somebody that there's a strong bond with, but then we to get the darkest fears. A card on that. Oh, the hermit. Yeah, this person's trying to figure out why this person's having a hard time opening up. This person might actually move away at first, believe it or not, but then they come back with wanting this new start because they want to share the love. They want to show you their broken heart. This is where the light comes out of the break. Oh, and let me see what they're refusing to see with this Two of Swords to reach out. The t they get the Three of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. 
they do want to work on this. And look at the beautiful healing that's here. Let me get a, another card on where you guys are going. This person's going to make the decision to work work on it once this person finally like begins to open up really open up their heart and let's get a, a, a card here of where it's going the ace of swords clarity of belief this is where they're both surrendering and trusting that what they they have to let go of what they put out they have to open their heart in order to receive love back so beautiful so in the extended Looks like there's a little beginning here that's a little bit, you know, again, triggering for both. In the extent, we're going to look at what lessons they're working, what lessons they're learning in your, in your relationship, what lessons you're learning in the relationship. We're going to look at what they're, they're working on, what they're afraid of. We're going to look at what strengths they will, they will bring to the relationship and what they admire about you and what you admire about them we're getting a lot more in the in in the extended so um after this initial beginning though it looks really really strong there is a real opportunity to heal once there is clarity and and a surrender so um very very kindred partnership that allows this healing to take place between the two of you from the past, past circumstances, not even from the past with each other, but just more, it's going to be very healing for both of you. All right, lovely friends. Um, I'll see some of you over in the extended. The link is down below. Until next time. Bye.